A plan to purchase four properties, including three hotels to house a homeless in San Diego, is moving forward. It's getting that plan is getting mixed reaction, though. Fox 5 Zara Barker is joining us live to break down what the new plan means and how it will house the homeless. Zara. Kathleen, good evening to you. This plan was just made official this afternoon after months of elected officials talking about it. They officially made this official in a vote of three to one this afternoon. So this means three hotels and one apartment complex in San Diego will soon turn into places to house the homeless. Now it's a collaboration between the city, county and state, but of course not every elected official is on board. San Diego County's plan to purchase hotels and use them to house the homeless is coming to fruition. The Board of Supervisors voted three to one in favor of applying for home key funding to make the plan a reality. This would mean purchasing three hotels and an apartment building totaling 320 units and a price tag of $153 million. The properties in consideration are a Ramada in Mission Beach, an apartment complex in Ocean Beach, and two extended stay America suites, one in Mission Valley and one in Fashion Valley. As a county entity, I think we should really be focusing our, our money on treatment and services, uh, not on taxpayer hotels as homeless housing that do, do not require treatment. The cost is about $478,000 per unit, a higher price and less units than initially proposed. While treatment will be offered to residents, it's not required under the Housing First program. Supervisor Jim Desmond says the program must accept people regardless of drug or alcohol use. That's what led him to vote against the plan. And I think any effort to reduce homelessness must require treatment and care. Taxpayers deserve accountability. For the billions of dollars spent, they're tired of seeing the homeless problem pers persist. It's to provide uh, a space that optimizes the likelihood that people will actually engage in care uh, and then be successful. El Cajon Mayor Bill Wells says the plan doesn't address the root cause of homelessness. There's a lot of drug and alcohol abuse on the streets, and that's really the biggest problem. And we're not going to solve the problem unless we agree on what it is. We stayed in the ones in Old Town, and they were extended stay hotels. Rachel Hayes used to live in a hotel turned housing for the homeless and doesn't agree with the plan because of the high price tag. I think that it's not cost, it's not cost effective, especially for the taxpayers. You know, th over $300,000 per room. There's no plan yet as to when this can actually come to fruition, but of course they will need to get the funding, then purchase these properties. After that, many advocates say there likely won't be a lot of renovations needed because all of these properties in the hotels and the apartment complexes are likely move-in ready. Reporting live along the Embarcadero, Zara Barker, Fox 5 News.